I'm Brett Scoble, the plant manager here at Greenham's Tongawa. Been with the business for 27 years now. Seen the business grow from, from one shed here originally in Tongala to, to two. The purchase of our Smithton site, been around for our Gippsland adventure, and I'm uh, pretty excited to show you what's happening here in our new Tongala facility. So far, we've had uh, all our, our slabs poured. Our uh, slaughter floor and boning room are up. The first floor is nearing completion. Today we're going to witness some of the, the roofing structure go up. This 250 ton crane that we're going to be coming in to lift up bay one for the western side. It'll have two spreader bars so the crane will sit with a jib in the middle and will spread out and lift it from the centre. We're sort of lifting around about that 12 ton for the first lift of the bay. After the roof's complete, we've got external and internal walls to go up. Then we'll begin our fit-out process. Planned installation, equipment, the main chain, there's quite a bit involved in that. Four main areas we've really tried to, to hone in on, so carcass utilisation, animal welfare, oh and and safety, and sustainability. Sustainability-wise, we're going to go with solar on, on the roof of our plant, and that's going to complement our existing biogas facility out the back. And the biogas cap is captured from our wastewater treatment plant, uh, with that, we burn the, the gas off and uh, help power the plant. Solar and the gas will uh, equate to about 70% of the uh, energy use here in Tongala. We've also got our water efficiency, so we've designed the plant to be as efficient as possible. Uh, a lot of recycling going on, and we hope to decrease our water usage by about 20 to 30%. From an animal welfare perspective, we've designed new low-stress handling yards, uh, separation from our workers from the cattle as much as possible. That'll help with their safety and reducing the stress on the animal. Uh, we've got a new knocking box that will aid in the, uh, the low stress processing of, of our animals and have a, a big impact on our, uh, on our meat at the end of the day. And with our new yard design, not only does it help uh, with the, the handling of the animals and the stress on our animals, it also helps keep our workers safe, keeps them out of the dangerous environment. New plate freezers, they're going to be fully automatic, so we'll, big reduction in manual handling on our workers and a lot of automation throughout the plant which will uh, also assist in the processing of the animals and keeping our workers safe. There's not one part of the carcass that hasn't been thought of in this new plant. There's separate rooms for all different products and uh, we'll get full maximisation out of, out of all our carcass. We feel it uh, demonstrates respect for the animal and maximises the, the use of the animal and, and our business. After witnessing the plant being built from design to to where it is today and where it's going to be in April. Um, I'm most excited about actually getting in here and, and uh, getting the opportunity to, uh, to process in this brand new facility and also the, the journey that our team's going to come on. It's a big change for us here in Tongala, moving from, from hot grinding beef to, to good quality beef and um, the opportunities and the, the adventure we're about to go on for, for all the staff here is quite exciting.